There are a lot of scams on Discord, and I try my best to cover every single one, but I still see people getting scammed over and over again by the same handful of scams. So I'm going to show you the six most common Discord scams, and for each scam, I'm going to show you how it works and how to secure your account if you got scammed. Now, it would be a modern day miracle if you haven't experienced this first scam before. It is the fake Discord Nitro bot. The way that it works is that you're going to get a DM from Discord. Uh-oh. Now, instead of this DM being Discord giving you an ungodly punishment, for being a femboy. Instead, it turns out the totally real Discord bot has given you one year of free Discord Nitro. Now, before I get into the scam, I want to point out, Discord, you're a big company. How are you still letting people create Discord bots that are called Discord to scam people? In fact, if Discord ever does message you, it looks a little something like this. It's a Discord message, and you'll see right beside their username, it says system. Also, in this DM with Discord, you can't reply to them, and when you click on Discord's profile, it's nothing, and it has a Discord staff badge. So what does the scam bot actually do? Well, it kind of has two phases to it. It has the spread and then the hook phase. I just made that up on the fly and it sounds pretty all right. But if you're in the spread phase of the bot, when you click on this button down here, what it's going to do is it's going to tell you to add this Discord bot to your server. And the Discord bot's going to join your server, disappear, and it turns out what it was doing is uh, sending every single person on your server a DM exactly like the one we just got. So this scam bot's going to do that to spread all across Discord, which it does very well because some how people do fall for the scam. I'm not going to make fun of you publicly, but I will silently judge you if you do fall for one of these. Once the bot has DM'd enough people, then it's going to go to phase two, actually scamming people. So once the scammer kind of switches how the bot works, when you click on this button, it's going to do something different. It's actually going to ask you to authorize an external application to join servers for you. Let's say you authorize this Discord bot. What can happen is that the scammers can make you join any Discord server that the scam bot is in. So if you join a whole bunch of random Discord servers, servers, you fell for the scam. So how do we fix that and unscam ourselves? You want to go to your user settings, go to authorized apps, and if there is an application that asks to join servers for you, just click on that big deauthorize button and deauthorize this piece of garbage. But then, as if out of nowhere, a friend of yours sends you a link to a Discord server. Now, typically it's some sort of NSFW Discord server, but it literally can be any server. The main thing is that when you join the Discord server, it's going to ask you to verify. Now, forgive me if the server banner is blank, I had to completely remove it because it was a butthole jump scare, but the way that this verification system works comes in two different flavors. There's one where if you click on the verify button, it's going to tell you to scan a QR code with your Discord mobile app. Do not scan this QR code, because if you do, you're signing into the scammer's computer. Now, the second flavor of the scam is a little bit different, but when you click on verify, it's going to tell you to verify yourself to gain access to the server, and you need to click here. And if you click on this link, it is going to take you to a website. Now, anytime I visit a scam website, I use this video's part partner NordVPN. In fact, every single time I record a video, I'm using NordVPN, because when I talk about scams, I want to hide my IP from scammers so they can't DDoS me off the internet. And I specifically use NordVPN because it's fast. I don't want to wait five years for a page to load while I'm recording. It's boring for me, and it's boring for you. And NordVPN is so fast that there have been plenty of times that I've been gaming for like hours on end, and once I close the game, I realize I've been on a VPN the whole time, and I didn't even notice. Now, you're probably not me, and you don't need to hide your IP from cranky scammers. So why should you use a VPN? Well, with a VPN, you can bypass region blocking. You know how YouTube hits you with that? This content isn't available in your country. Well, joke's on you, YouTube. I just teleported to Europe in less than five seconds. Or if you want to play Minecraft with the boys and you don't want to do server port forwarding or buying a server or realm, you can actually just use NordVPN's mesh net to host a LAN Minecraft server. And there's a lot more that NordVPN can do. So give NordVPN a try at nordvpn.com slash no text to speech. And when you use my link in the description. That's nordvpn.com slash no text to speech. Don't you forget it. Or you can just click on the link in the description. You can get four bonus months if you get a two year plan. And I heard there was a 30 day money back guarantee. And where could I potentially get that guarantee? Nordvpn.com slash no text to speech. All right, it's time to go back to the video. Bye bye NordVPN. I love you. Mwah. Now taking a gander at this website, this website is impersonating captcha.bot. In fact, if we go back to the discord server and we click on this discord bot, it's supposed to be captcha.bot, but instead it's verify hashtag zero. 0044. But on this website, it is going to tell you to press this to verify. And when you click on press to verify, it is going to pop up this Discord login page. And this pop up is a Discord phishing website. This whole login page is fake. If you put in your username and your password into this website, you are giving it directly to the scammer. Now, there's a whole bunch of tips to tell you that this is a scam website, like, for example, it being about colon blank. But the easiest way to tell if you're on a scam website is just 
open up a new tab, go to discord.com, and if you aren't logged into Discord, then it'll tell you to log in at the top right. Make sure you are on discord.com for this. Then once you log in and you go back to discord.com, it should tell you to open Discord. This means that your Discord account is logged in on your browser right now, which means if a real website told you to log in, it would automatically do it for you. But in this case, if we refresh the scam website and we click on press to verify, it's not automatically logging me in. This is a scam. Run away. But what if you accidentally didn't know and you did log into this Discord website and now you're spamming all your friends with the same scam that you fell for? How do you recover your account? Well, it's actually really easy. All you need to do is just go to your user settings and change your password. Once you change your password, it's going to log out every single device on your account and you're all good to go. Now, if you did fall for that scam, in some rare cases, you might actually send out a scam link that looks like this. $50 for Steam and it's a Steam community link. And this is our third scam we're going to talk about, the fake Steam gift card. Now, if we take a look at this message, it looks pretty legitimate. It's normalsteamcommunity.com, nothing to be worried about, but this scam is abusing something called Discord's Markdown Masked Links. Now, you probably have no idea what I just said there, so here's an example. With Discord, you can use formatting to turn words like this into links by just putting it in this format. And if I press enter, you will notice that that big YouTube link actually just turned into this word, which is now a hyperlink. And if I click on it, it's going to tell me what website I'm going to. In this case, it's YouTube. And for the Steam community scam, if you click on it, you're going to notice it's taking me to qptr.ru, not Steam community, qptr.ru. And these scammers will always use link shorteners because if you visit the website, the website they're trying to take you to is not Steam community, but hmm, Steam com un e uh, I'm just giving up. But oh good golly, it sure looks like Steam and it's telling me that to get my $50 gift card, I need to click on this get the card button. So I click on this button and it's taking me to a Steam login page. Now I don't want to get too nerdy on you, but this is a browser in the browser phishing page. You can tell because it looks like this is a new window, but if you try dragging it, it doesn't work. That's because this is just part of the website and it's going to tell me to sign in with Steam in exactly like what I told you in the last scam. You never sign into a website directly from the scam website. Always open up a new tab, go to Steam Community, log in through Steam, and make sure it's the Steam Community website. Remember, not Steam come new b b word salad. Make sure it's the real Steam Community website. And when you log into Steam and you go back to this website, which you're unsure it's a scam, if you refresh the page, if it's a real Steam website, you should already be logged in. If you fall for a scam like this, things are a little bit more difficult to recover your account because what you need to do is linked in the description, there will be this help Steam support page. And what you want to do is you want to say that your Steam account was stolen and you need to go through the recovery process because it's going to tell you to change your password, remove all authenticated devices. It's going to help you secure your account and Steam makes it a lot easier than me telling you because this is always up to date. It's going to be linked in the description. Now this next scam is honestly a doozy for me because it's talking about psychic sugar mamas, which for me, that's just right up my alley. But it also talks about struggling artists and people who are giving you $3,000 for free. Now, this isn't just one scam, but a collection of scams that operate off the same principle. You're going to have some random person out of the blue DM you. Specifically, this Emily lady is advertising her art. She's an artist looking for commission to pay her mom's hospital bills. But anyways, this scammer is going to show you a whole bunch of art, which definitely isn't stolen art or generated from AI, and they're going to do art for you for a small fee. Or in some rare cases, you might have a psychic that will come to you and tell you the winning lottery numbers, but they just need $20 to get their psychic tools. Or maybe if you're a handsome brute like me, you might get a sugar mama who's going to absolutely just bathe you in money. You're never going to have to work a day in your life, and they're going to give you all that money if you just give them $30. Now, I'm not going to waste your time with the story. Basically, the way that these scams work Work is that they ask for money up front. If you give good old Emily here $30, she's going to run away with your money. Also, this person of this lady here is not a scammer. This is just someone that their photo got stolen off Google. Here's the thing. These scams kind of evolved a little bit because another way the scam shows up is that someone is just asking you, if you had $3,000 and it was deposited into your cash app or PayPal, how would you spend it? $3,000 on food? Nikado avocado? Hello? Investment? Throw it all in Bitcoin and lose it all? Bills? I can't think of any other jokes here, but this person 
person is going to ask you if you want $3,000. And if you go through the whole process, you give them your PayPal email, they're going to send you this piece of, it's a, it's a beauty. They're going to send you an email that's not even from PayPal, by the way. It's just directly from their email saying that major finance company just sent you $2,800. What to do next? The payment of $2,800 is still pending. And to get this money, you're going to have to pay a $100 tax fee before the money is available in your account. And you already know what happens. When you send this scammer $100, they're not going to give you the $2,800. This person is going to run away. Here's a reality check for me to you. No one's going to give you free money unless you're sending someone photos of your feet. Um, what the sigma? Yeah, that got a little weird. So let's move on to the next scam. It's the Discord support scam or the I accidentally reported you scam. Now, this scam has a whack ton of different approaches and photos and fake certificates, but they all follow the same formula. What happens is that one of your friends or someone that you talk to sends you a DM on Discord. So it's someone you know, and it turns out they got hacked on Discord and they thought it was you. You hacked them because it turns out the hacker and you have a similar profile picture. And since that's the case, they accidentally filed a whole bunch of tickets on your account, which means you're going to get banned and they send you a photo of this email here. But you can see Jacob here is fraudulent because they have a current report of a legal purchase. And in this email, if you read it, it'll be very obvious this is a scam, but people don't read it because again, they're scared they're gonna get banned off Discord. Because in this email, it says, it seems that the reports you filed on this user, which you massive reported earlier today, cannot be revoked. And due to violating rules according to our Discord terms of service, this account has a pending ban for 10 hours before the full suspension. Pro tip, if Discord's ever gonna ban you, they're not gonna give you account down timer. They're just going to ban you straight up. But if Jacob does not want to be banned off Discord, then they need to contact the Discord support. And who is the Discord support? It's Candace Support 01 on Discord. And usually the accounts look like this. We can see that this is Support Candace. Apparently they're Discord support. Although, pay attention, there is no Discord staff badge, which is again, another massive red flag that this is a scam. But if you add Candace, they're going to show you that they really do work at Discord with a professional certificate like this one here which is just a resume. If this was your resume, you would never get hired at Discord because this resume is complete dog water. And I mean that in terms of design, because here's the thing, there's actually a LinkedIn link to Candace's actual LinkedIn. Like Candace is someone that works at Discord. They're in machine learning, data scientist, which by the way, a data scientist would not be doing trust and safety. It's another red flag. But scammers will copy all the information off Candace's LinkedIn and put it in these fake resumes to try and look real. And by the way, they do that with every single Discord employee. This is James. Apparently he's part of the Discord trust and safety team, even though he's a security engineer. Yeah, apparently a senior engineering manager is going to be doing trust and safety. That doesn't make any sense at all, but sure. If you get in trouble on Discord, you're either going to get a system message from Discord that looks a little something like this, or you're going to get an email from Discord. But these scammers assume you don't know that. And what these Discord scammers will do is they'll ask you to change your Discord email to one of their emails so that your account will be under the Discord protection custody report. That does not exist, my man. But these scammers are going to tell you anything and they're going to threaten you and they're going to make you feel like you're getting banned so that you feel obligated, you feel forced to go to your Discord settings and to change your email. And if you change your email to their scam email, they now have full access to your account, which means they can go to the Nitro tab and they can buy a whole bunch of Discord Nitro for all of their friends or sell the Discord Nitro to make money. They could do whatever they want, but you can provide all of this. If you have two-factor authentication on your Discord account, you actually get saved. Because with two-factor authentication, if you change your email, they can't change your password, which means they can't get into your account. But please, for the sake of my own sanity, please add two-factor authentication to your Discord account. But there's still a problem. Even if you have two-factor authentication, the scammers still have their email on your account, and you can't just change it back. And what they're going to do with that is they're going to actually try and extort you out of your money. They're going to tell you that if you want your Discord account back, you're going to have to pay us $75. But I know a little too much about Discord, and I have some great news for you, because you can get your account back without having to pay the scammer $75. And by the way, if you give them money, they probably wouldn't even give your account back anyways, so never pay scammers. But if you fell for the scam, you need to go in the description to Discord's white page of doom and gloom. And you are going to fill out this form asking for help with a hacked account. Now you're going to enter in your email, your username, and for the email 
associated with the account before it was compromised, put down the email that you had before you changed it to the scammer's email. Now, in terms of suspicion on how you believe the account was compromised, uh, Discord doesn't have an exact section, so just change it to, I don't know, I'm not sure. And for the rest of this forum, just follow my template. For the subject, say that you lost your Discord account to fake support scammers. And for the description, I lost my account, put the username of your account to a fake Discord support scam. The original email on my account was your original email and put the date that you were hacked. And from there, it might take a little bit, but Discord will eventually help you out. I've seen a lot of people actually successfully get their account back. Now, if those scammers bought a whole bunch of Discord Nitro on your account, then you're going to want to go back to the white page of Doom and Gloom and you want to change to billing. And you want to do this after you get your account back, by the way. But for the type of billing issue, it's an unauthorized transaction. You don't recognize a charge and you just let them know. I got hacked. Someone bought Nitro on my account. Can you please refund it? Now, if you thought all that talking to Discord support to get your account back was painful, well, congratulations, you haven't experienced pure torture yet. And that's where I talk about the sixth and final Discord scam that is way too common and is extremely potent and awful. It is the download my game scam. Now, scammers out of nowhere might just send you a DM or maybe one of your old friends that got hacked by the same scam will send you a message asking you to help them out on their small little project. They've been making a game and they just want you to test their game for like three to five minutes. Or maybe they'll tell you that if you play this game, they will pay you $35 for every single hour you play. And if you find any bugs or errors in the game, you're going to get between $350 to $470. Now, these scammers will tell you basically anything that they can think of to try and get you to download whatever random file they're trying to give you or for you to go to a website and download their game. Now, just as very common advice, don't download stuff from people on Discord, even if it's your friends, because your friend could be hacked. Now, let's take a look at this game website. Now, my favorite part about this test my game scam is that these scammers are so lazy that they actually just impersonate a real game. So if we scroll down and we just look at one of these images, we can actually right click it, search image with Google, and the first result is going to be the real name of the game. This is actually Lumaterra, Embers of the Legacy. It is not this open sea NFT dog water garbage adventure quest. That is the most generic name on the planet. Yes, I'd like to make the second quadruple A game. It's called First Person Shooter. But if you go through their completely bogus website, it's going to tell you to download their game. Get rid of this Google Lens thing. To download it on Windows, you just need to download the EXE. Now, in a previous video, I actually dove deep into this type of scam and explained how it works on a virtual machine. It's really nerdy, so we're going to skip all that. And we're just going to say, this is malware. And if you did run this game, it would go on your computer and steal all your usernames and your passwords and your cryptocurrency, and it'll hide itself on your computer. So even if you change your password, the new password is going to be sent to the scammer because the malware is still on your computer. Your computer is completely infected and all of your accounts are compromised. So how do you save yourself? And this is going to be overkill. But when it comes to malware on your computer, you want to make sure the malware is actually gone. And the first thing you need to do is do a fresh install of your operating system to get rid of the malware. And this will delete all of your files, by the way. If you use Windows, I suggest following Kevin's video on doing a clean install for Windows 11. This will be linked in the description. But this will make you have a fresh new computer without any malware. And once you have a fresh new computer, you need to then change every single one of your passwords. And if you have like 600 accounts on the internet, you need to change all 600 passwords. And going through this whole process of cleaning your computer and changing every single one of your passwords is so unbelievably painful that hopefully it'll teach you a lesson to not download random files from people on Discord. And hopefully, whether you're a complete Discord noob or a hardcore Discord degenerate, this video helps you stay safe on Discord. Stay safe. I love you. Bye-bye.